many Catholics who are Hispanic are turning over to the Republican Party. Many Muslims might start voting Republican as well if they keep trying to push this crap in schools. We have a story here where hundreds of Muslim protesters shut down a Michigan school board meeting over sexually explicit LGBTQ books. Now, for those of you who don't know, Michigan has a very high Muslim population, especially Dearborn, Michigan, which is almost 50% Muslim. Now, we can sit there and say, you know, uh, that might make us uncomfortable. Maybe we don't really like some of the cultural issues that are tied to the Islamic faith as a whole. One thing we can agree with, though, is Abrahamic religions uniting over the fact that we should not be showing kids sexually explicit content in school, nor should we be showing kids gay content in school. And let me please explain on, or expand on that real quick, because I had someone asking a question um, on one of my videos, what do I have against the gay community? Or why is it so bad that gay content's being shown in schools? And I won't make this very clear. I have nothing against the gay community whatsoever. I really don't. I, I think everyone has a right to be with whoever they want to be with. And in fact, I would even say that I would rather see two gay men married than I would like to see, you know, straight people just hooking up left and right. I don't like hookup culture. I don't like what that's become. And I really would rather see a gay couple happily married than I would like to see, you know, people, just straight people going at it just left and right. I have nothing against gay people. I, I, I don't even really have much against trans people for the most part. As far as I'm concerned, you have a right to go and dress up and act however you want to like or act however you want to. The issue I have is where you come over here and then tell me I have to then play make-believe with you. All right, I'm an adult. If I'm going to play make-believe, I'm going to play make-believe, you know, like um, you know, Star Wars make-believe with my kids or some crap like that. I'm not going to play make-believe with you, okay? You are what you are. I'm sorry. I, I just, I'm not going to, I'm not going to play along. But you have every right. You have every right to put on that dress. I will not argue that. You have every right to put on that dress. You have every right to do whatever you want to do to yourself when you're a legal adult. That's a big thing right there. You have to be a legal adult. I do not like any of this stuff happening to children. But you have a right to do all that, all right? Just the same as you have the right to, of course, um, you know, make yourself throw up after you eat because you're anorexic, right? It, it's a mental condition is what it is. You have a right to do wherever you want. I don't have to advocate for it. I don't have to, I don't have to really accept what you say as fact, but I will accept the fact that you have the right to do it. My issue comes into play when A, you have this content in schools that are sexually explicit, like the drag shows, right? Like the drag shows, like the book, you know, you had the book Gender Queer being put in a bunch of these schools, a book that is 18 plus when you look at it on Amazon or Barnes and Noble, yet it's in elementary schools and middle schools, which makes absolutely no sense. You have the, of course, the drag shows, which are just absolutely despicable to be in front of children. And I've been to a drag show or two in my life. All right. I've, <laughs> my old business trips used to take me to Vegas all the time. So I actually used to, I, I've seen, I've seen a couple of drag shows. They're funny. They're funny. All right. I think they're good entertainment for adults, not for children. The whole joke of the whole thing is how sexual it is, but in a comedic way, basically it, it's, it, it is not met for children. Yes, yeah, being shown to children in schools. And when it comes to also the idea of talking about stuff like homosexuality in schools, even that I don't think should be allowed. And, he, and here's the reason why. Oh, at least let me make that, let me add a caveat there. When you're talking about high school age kids, then sure, you can start introducing some of that stuff if you really want to. I still don't really particularly like it, but yeah, I think at that point it'll basically be all right. The issue I have is, is it being shown to prepubescent children. Children that are prepubescent don't have these desires. They have no understanding of what it really means to be attracted to someone. They might have, you know, Johnny over there might really like Lucy, but he has no understanding of what that truly means when he gets older. You know, until they go through puberty, we have no idea what that's like. And people say, oh, so they can understand violence, but they can't understand sex. Yes. Yes, they can understand violence, but they can't understand sex. Because guess what? My one-year-old understands violence. If he gets really upset right now at something, he'll, 
like, barely, but you know, he'll slap you on the leg a little bit. And I'm like, Hey, you, get, you better stop it. But at one years old, they understand the concept of violence, right? He's playing with one of his friends and, and they want a toy. One of them will push the other down to try to get that toy. They understand violence from birth. What they don't understand is sexual desire, nor should they. Not until after they go through puberty. So when you sit there and try to tell a, you know, a, a kindergartner or a first grader what it is to be gay or straight or tra- all this stuff, they have no frame of reference in their mind to properly figure that out. They might be able to say, okay, so two guys who really like each other are gay and two girls who re- really like each other are gay and then you know, a guy and a girl is what I have. They might be able to know the words and how to put them together and how they might know the overall idea, but they don't understand it. They have no understanding of what it actually means. It's like, it's like me saying, Oh, well, I know the Bible. And then I pull out the Bible and go, yes, I know it's this book right here. I know the Bible. And then if you start asking me questions on it, I go, Oh, I've actually never read it. Right? You can know what the Bible is. You can know that the Bible, of course, is by Christian accounts, of course, the Word of God and all that nonsense, right? Well, not nonsense. I mean, I'm a Christian, so I believe it. But you know what I mean, right? You, you know what a Bible is, but if you haven't read it, you don't understand it. Children might understand what homosexuality is. They might understand what transgenderism is, but they don't understand it because they have yet to have any frame of reference to work with. So that stuff should definitely be kept out of elementary and middle school schools. Again, we can make the argument for high school. We can make the argument for high school. I don't like it, but we can make the argument. When it comes to elementary and middle school, though, no argument there. It should be not allowed one bit. And it's also why, of course, Disney should not be showing it at all in um, in their content either. But here, again, we have something interesting because obviously the left will gladly attack a Christian group of people who are standing up to stop this stuff being shown in schools. They will gladly attack Christians for doing this exact thing. But when it's Muslims, well, now we got ourselves a little bit of a oppression Olympics going on, right? Who's the more victimized, the Muslims or the LGBT? You know, I would actually say, eh, that's hard to say, actually. In America, I would probably actually say the Muslims are are lower lower on the totem pole than the LGBT are, actually, because it's not like we have uh, Walmart having Muslim month, now do we? Now, worldwide, uh, we know who's lower on the totem pole, but in America... It probably should be the Muslims, but here's the thing: they, I, I, I don't think the left are even going to even bring up. They'll never bring up the fact that there is this um, problem when it comes to who accepts who. They, they built this coalition of people who really don't like each other. They mostly just have a mutual hatred of America for the most part. <laughs> Which, let's face it, many people who are part of that LGBTQ, LGBTQ whatever community do have a slight hatred for America. Not all. I have friends who are gay, friends who are gay and married. They love America and they hate crap like this. They hate crap like, they hate the fact that people in their community are pushing this stuff in schools, all right? The people I know who are gay cannot stand them pushing this stuff in schools because, well, for them, they keep saying the fact of they worked hard to shake that, um, uh, that uh, stereotype that, of course, gays are groomers and all that nonsense, right? They worked hard to shake that stereotype. And now, because actual groomers are going into schools, it, that stereotype is building back up again. And, of course, they're just a normal married couple, same as most of us, and, and go about their day. They don't, they don't want this stuff in their schools. They don't want this stuff in their schools. So I don't mean to say everyone who's part of the LGBT... LGBT... What, Everyone's part of the politically gay community. <laughs> All right. Everyone who's part of the politically gay community is it there's a difference between being politically gay, I guess, at this point, and being just gay, unfortunately. That there does seem to be a whole block of people who ha- have um used their sexuality as a way to get political influence rather than well, than just being their sexuality. 
At the end of the day, I really don't care what you are and what you do in your own private life, yet these people are constantly trying to push it wherever they can. And what do you know? Some Muslims are actually starting to shout back. Um, right here, we got, you know, the majority of those who attended Mus or Monday's Dearborn public, of course, Dearborn, Michigan. Like I said before, Dearborn, Michigan, huge Muslim population. Dearborn's public school board meeting and took a stand against books um, were Muslim. There were a handful of counter protesters present to defend the books, including members of the American Founda or Federation of Teachers Union. Oh, the Teachers Union. Teachers Union are a bunch of bastards. I'll tell you one thing. I have so many stories about the damn Teachers Union. You can look at, look at their past and how many times they have defended pedophile after pedophile. The Teachers Union is one of the biggest insults to American, just to the American school system in general. I mean, obviously public schools are a disaster regardless, no matter how you split it. They're indoctrination camps for the federal government. But the Teachers Union, my God, they are some of the worst of the worst. So you got this right here, them uh, shouting, which I'll play here first. So that was one. Where's the one where they're, man, there was one where they were really getting at it. Yeah, there we go. Vote them out, vote them out. Hell, I love to hear it. I love to hear it. Again, Abrahamic religions unite. You know, we might have some differences here when it comes to a lot of different things, but we can at least all agree that you should not be showing this crap to our children. So one of Michigan's most prominent faith leaders, Imam Hassan al Qalalila, the Islamic Institution of or, uh, the Islamic Inst Institute of America in Dearborn Heights directed his followers to protest during his sermon on Friday, according to a report by the Detroit Free Press. Some of those books are completely inappropriate for our children to read, al -la 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 said. According to the report, some of these books promote pornography. Some of them promote homosexuality. We do not need this. Go attend this meeting. And again, that's the thing. You know, you really open some of these books. Again, look at Gender Queer is a great example of it, where it actually has sexual acts being done in the book and this isn't in a um, educational way this isn't in a biological way because i'm actually not against sex ed as a whole sex ed makes complete sense to me if you're talking strictly about explaining to children the biology of sex then i think that is just fine even talking about maybe some of the ramifications of it if you're not safe I, i'm even open to hearing that but when it comes to stuff what like they're showing right now it, it's showing I'll give you an example, all right? So in Gender Queer, it has a whole page where it shows a girl giving a blowjob to another girl who's wearing a strap on. How does that have anything to do with sex ed? All right, there's nothing about biology or science, nothing in there with that. That's just a kink, all right? That's just you having a kink. All right, we don't need to be telling kids what different kinks there are out there. We just need to explain to them, here's the basics of sex. Here's what it means, all right? Here's what it causes, and just be done with it. All right, that, that's it. The rest of it, that's up for the parents to decide. That's up for the community as a whole to kind of decide, you know, for the, for their own kids. It's not up to a teacher. It's not up to the school system. When you're talking about, you know, what kinks are being shown to these children. All right, that's, that's totally inappropriate. 100% inappropriate. And that's what they're showing. They're not showing sex ed. They're showing kink ed. And there's a big difference. And now I'm not saying you can't go around and do some kinky shit if that's what you want to do in your own life. All I'm saying is you keep it away from the children. That's all I'm saying. All right, you do what you want to do. All right, have fun, right? Have fun with your partner. Don't push it on children. Don't talk about that shit in front of children. Is it that hard to say? All right, I, I don't go in front of a bunch of children and talk about what me and my wife did last night. That's not what we do. We say that is wrong. That's disgusting. It's terrible. Yeah, of course, apparently, if you're in the LGBT community and a teacher of a school, then, hey, you can talk all about your sex life and you can pull out a book called Gender Queer and say, oh, look how educational it is while you show them different kinks. No, that's not how any of this should work. Now, when they say some of them promote homosexuality, again, I already said I in high school, I don't see a big deal if there's a book that has someone who's gay in it. I, I really don't see the big deal because by that point, they 
have the frame of reference to at least understand what it is to be gay or what not, you know, not to be gay or any of that stuff. But this is a middle school that they're at or where this was shown a middle school where people are, you know, maybe just reaching that age where they're starting to, you know, figure that stuff out. It, I, I still think it should be kept out of middle schools. I think it should be kept out of middle schools, definitely kept out of elementary schools. And that's what they're protesting here. Plus, to be honest, these people probably would not like it in high schools either, knowing um, knowing the Muslim faith. <laughs> and the people who I know, people who I, I don't really know know them, but the people who I've met who are Muslim, are, they're very strict about that stuff. I'll tell you what. You know, us Christians, we kind of, a lot of us Christians have almost like a live and let live policy on it. But man, uh, Muslims I've met, ooh, they are. <laughs> I almost admire them for their commitment. I, I really almost do, even if I disagree with some of it. <laughs> the report claimed Al Kualala, and I, I cannot say that name at all, so I'm saying Kualala. And others said that they have a, a democratic right to decide what is appropriate in their school since the faith is now the majority. Dearborn is 47% Arab American, most of them Muslim. Dearborn Heights is about one third Arab uh, American according to census data. Recent protests involved all demonstrators who are uh, who appeared to be mostly Muslim, but one of the key organizers, Stephanie Butler, is a Christian and appeared at both events. Again, Abrahamic religions unite. <laughs> All we need is a couple of Jews to show up there and then we'll be set. <laughs> Here's the funny thing here. Uh, they have a democratic right to decide. Okay, you left. You love democracy so much. I'm a complete opponent to democracy in almost all of its forms. I hate democracy. All right, I will actively say I despise democracy. Democracy is one of the bloodiest and terrible forms of governance ever devised by man. If you do not believe me, you have not read your history if you really think democracy is a good form of government. And maybe the left will start to realize that when guess what? The majority says they don't want gays in their school. Okay, well guess what? You who cares about a republic form of government if the majority says so? Well, that's democracy, which must be good. Democracy is always good, isn't it? Do you hate democracy? And do you hate democracy? See, I have no problem saying I hate democracy. Democracy is ridiculous. So guess what? I don't care if 90% of people all agree that abortion is right. I'm still going to say you're a bunch of lunatics and it should be banned. I do not care about democracy. I do not care what the mass opinion was. There was a time when the masses believed slavery was okay. It did not make it okay. Luckily, in a republic form of government, we can see this and make changes appropriately because instead of going by what the people want en masse, we instead go by the rule of law. That's the big difference between republic and democracy right there. We have a rule of law. It does not matter if 80% of the people believe that the right to bear arms does not give you the right to own an AR-15. The law, according to as it should be, says we are. And until the Constitution is changed, guess what? I'm going to own my guns the way I see fit. It does not matter what the public thinks. And guess what here? Democracy is basically saying they don't want this stuff in their schools. So left, balls in your court. Do you or do you not like democracy? Just saying. We don't need those books in Dearborn and Dearborn Heights, Al Kualala said. Take them somewhere else. The majority rules. <laughs> if you are the majority of people in Dearborn, you decide for your children. We live in a democratic society, and there are certain tools and techniques which, or with which we, you can change the law of this country. I mean, I, di I can't disagree more. I, I do not think we're a democratic society. I hate democracy, as I said, but... I do love the fact that what the left has been pushing with the idea of democracy is now being used against them. I absolutely love it. And again, I've been saying this for a long time. I said this in the short I posted on this too, that as the Muslim population has increased and as illegal, immigrant, uh, illegal immigration has increased, guess what? Those illegal immigrants are predominantly Catholic. Listen, if you believe in a lot of traditional values and a lot of different things, we might be making some real headway here soon when it comes to of course abortion is a big one do you think a bunch of hispanic catholics are okay with abortion do you think a bunch of muslims are okay with the homosexuality in the schools they aren't yet 
because the left has cost you a lot. They think they're going to be the greatest voting bloc. I tell you one thing, we can see this in the stats. Hispanics are starting to turn over to the Republican Party, left and right. Why? Because the Republican Party at least has some traditional values left. They still suck, don't get me wrong, but they at least have some traditional values still there. And they don't sit there and ridicule you for being religious. They don't sit there and ridicule you for your faith. So many Catholics who are Hispanic are turning over to the Republican Party. Many Muslims might start voting Republican as well if they keep trying to push this crap in schools. The Imam added, they are proponents of democracy, but only if it supports liberal values. Yep, the moment it goes against liberal values, they are authoritarian who want to oppose their own values on people. They are very much authoritarians. That's 100% true. During the meet, however, democracy can still be authoritarian. Let's not forget that. Anytime you're forcing your views on others, you're kind of an authoritarian. This is why I lean typically more libertarian. But... Yeah, they're not wrong on it, right? They claim to be for democracy, but the moment they lose, they go, ah, no, screw democracy. We're, we're in power. We're going to rule. During the meeting, several protesters spoke out and led chants, including vote them out. We're going to send a message to the Board of Education. Uh, protester Hassan Anan, Hassan Alan, I don't know, said, according to the report, we the people put you in this position. We put you on that chair. We elected you. A gay man who attended the meeting to counter or, or to counter protest had to be escorted to his vehicle by police as protesters shout at him to leave our children alone. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for that guy. I have no idea if that guy was actually advocating for what um for you know what was being shown in the schools or not. Because listen, a lot of times people are misled. I, I have I have met people who are gay who thought the Florida don't say gay bill actually meant you couldn't say gay. In schools, and as we know, it wasn't even called Don't Say Gay Bill. It had nothing to do with Don't Say Gay. That it was just a complete lie. Talk about, again, misinformation. Will CNN pay a massive fine? I don't know. Um, but they, they actually thought that's what the bill was about. So they were saying how much they were against it. When they realized that all it was saying is you can't teach sex ed to kindergartners and first graders, they, they kind of realized, oh, wait a second, I'm wrong, and they backed off of it. So I don't know if this guy actually knew what he was protesting for or counter-protesting for, to be honest. So I, I, I feel kind of bad him them shouting, leave our children alone. But I kind of get it. If you're trying to tell, if you're trying to show children, you know, pornographic images, then yes, yes, you know, leave our children alone. The protesters had the support of the Council of, on uh, American Islamic Relations a typical uh, leftist organization who is now helping Muslims protect their religious right to keep explicit material away from their children in public schools. The meeting has now been rescheduled for Thursday at Forsum High School, which can hold a large... Oh, it's this Thursday. Oh, it's today. Oh, that's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see what happens then. I just burnt the hell out of my hand. I have a coffee heater here. I just put my hand right on. I don't know why the hell I did that. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, what do you guys think? I, it's it's definitely interesting seeing uh, seeing this now take place with uh, Muslims actually going over and shutting down school board meetings like this. And it's interesting seeing that, of course, Christians and Muslims actually uniting on something for once. And it, who knew? The one thing that could get Christians, Muslims, and Jews to stop hating each other was the left. It was our unified hatred for what the left has become. <laughs> All you need for peace in the Middle East is to drop a bunch of leftists over there and, you know, Israel and Palestine will band together to fight off the uh, hordes of gender nonsense that they will try to introduce. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching that video. If you enjoyed it, you'll probably enjoy some of the other videos we got here on the channel and you can check some of them out right over here. Plus, if you want to watch the live show, it is Thursdays at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So wake up early, grab yourself a hot cup of coffee, and I will see you there.